Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Class 10, we will discuss the human nervous system. The second topic of the coordination and control. Human nervous system is uh, a very uh, high and complicated nervous system. And this system consists of two parts. One is the central nervous system and the other is the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system has two parts that is the brain and spinal cord. These are centralized mean located in a specific area so they are known as central nervous system. While peripheral nervous system is the system that cover the whole body uh, present in the whole body are spread in the whole body and that is why they are known as peripheral nervous system this system have different nerves nerves are neurons that arise from the central nervous system neurons arise from the central nervous system and spread in the different parts that is why this system is known as peripheral nervous system Neurons are the basic components of the nervous system. They are known as to be the structural and functional part of the nervous system. So the main whole nervous system depends on the structure and function of neuron. That's why we will discuss first the structure, the types and then the function of the different neurons. Now we will discuss the nerve cells are neurons. Neurons, as I told you, that these are the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. And there are billions of neurons in our body. Along with that, neuroglial cells are also present with neurons. What are neuroglial cells? These are the nourishing cells. These are the supporting cells which present along with the neurons and they provide nourishment they provide uh, material if uh, one part like exon some dendrites get damaged so neuroglial cells are the supporting and nourishing cells neurons are present in our body to receive the message from the receptor and to give the message of the coordinator means they work in combination with the receptor give information taking information from the receptor and give it to the brain and also taking information from the brain and give it to the effectors so between the receptors the coordinators and effectors neurons working with the coordination a typical neuron consists of the structure cell body, dendrites and exon. Cell body is the internal cellular structure of its uh, parts like this is the nucleus, this is the cytoplasm of the uh, neuron inside which different organelles are present. This is the cell body of the neuron. From the cell body, several extensions arise and these extensions are known as dendrites. Dendrites are the processes extend from the cell body and it give information toward the cell body. The extensions which give information toward the cell body is known as dendrite means messages are passed from the cell body to dendrites to the cell body as the direction shows here while exon is the extension of the cell body this is exon part this is the exon extend from the cell body and it uh, give impulse away from the cell body dendrite give impulse towards cell body exon give impulse away from the cell body toward the affected or brain so this extension is known as exon 
along with the exon different cells are present neuroglial cell these are the neuroglial cells that present the side of the exon and these are known as schwann cells schwann, schwann cells sometimes secrete a fatty layer like here the yellow part show the fatty layer fatty acid lipid lipid layer and this lipid layer is known as myelin sheath but this lipid layer is not present throughout the structure of the neuron in between there are some places where the lipid layer is not present and these areas are known as node of frenier as this like the nodes of the plants no lipid layer is present and these are known as the node of frenier lipid layer is an insulator and it doesn't allow the impulse to pass through it so when impulse arises from the cell body it will jump to that this area then jump to this area node of frenier so in such neuron where the fatty layer or myelin sheath is present myelinated neuron having the jumping impulse are known as saltatory impulse saltatory is the jumping impulse when it jump from one point to the other point so this is the typical structure of the neuron having a cell body dendrites exon along with the exon there are schwann cells along with the schwann cell there are myelin sheath myelin sheath in between the non myelinated parts points which are known as the node of frenier now the different types of the neurons here the structure that we already discussed having many dendrites and one exon this is the motor neuron motor neuron are associated with the effectors one end like this part is present in the brain and then this part is attached with the effector this neuron taking message from the brain and spinal cord from the coordinator and give it to the effectors to the glands to the muscles for their action so this is known as motor neuron while this neuron is the interneuron interneuron is present in the brain and spinal cord taking message from this and giving message to the next neuron so this neuron have many exons and many dendrites and they are present inside this brain and spinal cord while this is the next neuron which is known as sensory neuron having one dendrite and one exon one end is attached with the receptor the other end is attached with the brain and spinal cord giving message taking message from the receptor and giving message to the coordinator associated with the receptor that's why this neuron is known as sensory neuron and the cell body of this neuron is always present in the center at one side exon one side dendroid are present so these are the three different types of neuron now we'll discuss the types of the nerve impulse nerves nerves what is nerve the union of several exons the combination of several exons when they take the message that is message is the nerve impulse sometimes the nerves that carry the message have only the exon of sensory neuron and that is why that nerve is known as sensory nerve sometimes the message is carried by the exons of the motor neuron only so that nerve is known as motor nerve but sometime mixed nerve uh, carry the message uh, means it contain the exon or uh, it involves the exon of the sensory and motor neuron both so that type of nerve your type of nerve, uh, nerve impulse is known as mixed nerve